you start doing four strep or partial or seven exercise, I decided to put it in a dedicated arm day. Do people in Korea do that? My tricep is kind of hurting right now. I twist my body like this. So do you measure your arm? I think the biggest measurement I'm just like... So I see uh, you don't do much partial reps. Um, I usually do those, like if I'm doing like three sets, I'll do it on my last set, oh. typically. If you start doing four straps or partials on right. like the first set of an exercise, you get to your second and third one. I mean, that first set, if you did all that extra stuff, it's gonna take a lot out of you. A lot of oh, fatigue. You're not right. gonna be able to get as many reps on your second set or your third set. The workout so, volume gets yeah. too low. Like if I'm gonna do intensifiers like that, whether it's a drop set, a rest, pause, force reps, wait, any, any of that, I'll usually put it on my last set of an exercise. Some people say don't use traps when doing side laterals, just to focus on the side delts. Yeah. What is your I mean, plan? you should try and position yourself so that you're not. And that's one of the reasons I kind of prefer using a machine, because oh. you can set yourself up really well if the machine fits you all. Well. You can set up and brace properly right. and just move at your elbow joint mm -hmm. instead of doing that. Right. If, when you're doing a dumbbell, you're gonna get a little bit, but if most of the load is on your lateral delt, then it's not like it's not working, you know? Right, right. <laughs> All right, I'll do it for uh, delt work. Since we did some pressing movements today, yeah. if I was just doing an arm day, I would go into like three bicep exercises and three tricep exercises. Mm -hmm. but we already did some pressing stuff, right? right? So. We've already used our triceps a bit, so we're gonna do three bicep movements and oh, two okay. tricep movements. We're gonna start with hammer curls because we're, okay. we're here already. Three, four, five. I think this is the one exercise that I can actually use the same weight. <laughs> Hell yeah. So is it warm up for you or? Yeah, I'll, I'll probably go out from there. Right, right. It's not warm up weight for me, but I just think it's gonna look cool if I use the same weight. Looks very cool. <laughs> you wanted to bring your arms up then mm -hmm. last year? Yeah, what I did was I, uh, I never used to have an arm day in my split. Oh. And I, I used to just do push days and pull days, just do triceps and biceps at the end of each of those. But I decided to put in a dedicated arm day this year and it made a big difference. I still have a push day mm -hmm. and a pull day during the week where I'll do some bicep work and tricep work at the end of those sessions. But then I also have this main arm day. I think there's something to be said for having a day where you just, you're putting a ton of blood into like one area of your body to bring it up. So it worked for me this year. Do people in Korea do that? You know what this means? You know what metal is? The music genre? Oh yeah, 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 yeah I do. So these are supposed to be devil horns. Oh. So that means like, it's like a metal head thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> when do you guys use these often? I, I do, because uh, I'm a metal head. I like metal. So it's like so. this, this kind of, that kind of stuff? Yeah, kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of like, like doing this, but, oh. but cooler. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> there you go. All right. Oh, fix me. 
All right, let's do uh, some push downs. Do you prefer this grip the most? Yeah, I like it better than uh, like a rope oh, because it's, uh, it's easier for me to like get my hand in here and grip mm -hmm. this, especially when it gets heavier. It doesn't take away from forearm yeah. as much. Whoa. Five, six. My tricep is kind of hurting right now. Oh, really? I might. I'm gonna take it pretty easy. Yeah, yeah, you should. Tricep work, okay? you should. I'll just go lighter on these. It's not your elbow, right? It's your it's, it's like right in here. More of I, I just don't want to do anything stupid. So. Right, right. I'm just gonna go lighter on these. Okay. All right. Whoa. 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 feel very good. I'm not gonna do any more of those cut. You can go ahead and do a few more sets. I'm not gonna do any more. Oh, that's the last one for you? Yeah. Okay, then I'll just do for the last set and move on. I don't know, something just it feels off. So I'm not gonna do anything dumb. Preacher curls? Sure. When I set up on a preacher curl, if, especially if it's a machine, find the pivot point for the, the arm that you're using, which is this spot right here. Actually, no, it's this red dot. And oh. put your, your elbow joint in line with that. Uh, and that's gonna make your arm is bending in unison with the machine. And for me personally, I mean, you can do this two arm if, if you fit, but I can't fit in there properly. So what I usually do, I twist my body like this and get my arm out in front of me. Oh, I see. And that's gonna help stretch out the, uh, the short head of your bicep a little bit better. So you see how it's like out in front of me as opposed to like if I were over oh. top of it. This will stretch out your that part of the bicep a little further. So do you measure your arm? Oh, I haven't in a long time. I think the biggest measurement amount is like just under 22, 22 when, when they're cold, so like not pumped up or anything. But that was when I was fat, so they'd probably be less right now <laughs> with less fat on them, so wow. I don't know. That is impressive. It's weird because like there's guys out there with much smaller arms than me that uh -huh. look like they have better arms oh. because the, you know just the way that they're shaped or put together or whatever. Right. You know, maybe they have a better peak, whatever it is, right? But that's what matters. What does it look like? Right. No one's got a tape measure on stage. So especially in the pro league, like at the highest level of the IFBB, everybody has big arms. Everybody. Yeah. It's not like oh you can get away with not having that. You like you need big you need arms. That. Right. Or you're not going to do well. Right, right. So. Oh. 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 I'm going lighter than you. What's that? I'm going lighter than you. <laughs> I'm going super light on so this. So we big out for you, so you should be careful. Lots of excuses. <laughs> Got excuses for days. So. Ah. 13. Good. Whoa. Okay. All right. Four, nice brother. one, buddy. And that's it. That's it. <laughs> the whole workout. Uh, thank you for watching the video. We're not. We're not gonna do this. We're gonna do this. Okay. Rock on. <laughs> <laughs> <Good> buddy. Yeah. <laughs>